I always thought sales was like talking someone into buying something. That was the way I'd always grown up around it. You think about the stereotypical that, you know, used car sales, I mean, that, that the stereotypical salesperson convincing someone to buy something they didn't really want to part their money for and later realized that was false. So, you know, I mentioned like, I kind of have an engineering mindset. I thought that the idea was you build a great product. That is the thing. And certainly great products matter. But, you know, there are many mediocre products have done historically well, you know, like mediocre, well, I guess. So I think probably a couple of lessons. One of the reasons that our residential and commercial construction companies that my, my brother and other partners and I ran failed was we didn't know how to sell. And I know how I didn't put that together. And so I realized there's a skill set I'm going to need to have. And it's that moment where a buyer and seller meet. And so I looked at it analytically and said, there, there has to be, it can't just be art. It has, there has to be some science there. And this is when this dates me a lot, but internet service providers were just starting to sell to businesses. And that's, I, you know, I got my first sale job there, but I'd had enough repetitions. I always had, I've always been like a hard worker. And so I've almost always had at least one side hustle, if not more. And I had worked since I was 19. I had like a direct sales business and really just going through and I had to do a bunch of pitches. And I was, you know, multiple times a week, probably Malcolm Gladwell's, you know, theory of 10,000 reps. I don't know how many times I've been in front of people and been told no and been rejected and realized that like, that was terrible and awkward and humiliating and I'm not good at this and I'm nervous and like, I don't know how to answer to that objection. And I went through, I don't know how many times and then going back to the drawing board and trying to solve it. Those are the things I think where I really learned the skills and then seeking out mentors and, you know, going to functions and, you know, listening to audios or podcasts or just something, just like putting things in, not because the whole thing was good because I got one line that worked. And I really think it's when your stomach and your backbone meet that motivation happens, you know, like you're hungry and you've got to figure it out. Those, those things helped a lot. And then